Hi guys, my name is Ngonga and welcome to my channel. Now, I haven't posted a video in a while because I was trying to figure out what I really wanted to do on this channel. Because after a while, what I was doing kind of felt uninspired. So I thought to myself, I must try something new. I figured I should um, do more kitchen videos and do more experimental things as opposed to just going out there and eating other people's food. So for today's video, it was kind of like an accident the way I came upon the specific combination or recipe. What happened was I had some leftover pasta and uh, some leftover lumanda and one day I just decided to mix it up and it was actually really really good. For today, instead of making uh, bought pasta, I'm trying to like make it fresh, I'm trying to make it myself because I really really like experimenting like that and I hope you enjoy it. I hope it turns out good because I'm <laughs> I'm kind of super nervous about it. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I decided to start with the pasta. I dumped two cups of flour on my work surface. Then I made a well in the middle of the flour and cracked three eggs in it. Then I started to incorporate the walls of the flour with my egg working in my flour and I kind of had to be careful here because if the walls of the flour broke it would have been quite a disaster. So at this point I realized that I didn't add some oil and salt so I decided to add, to add it at this point. So I continued to work my flour until I could work it with my hands. At this point I just Need it for around 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I knew it was ready you can tell it's ready by just pushing your finger in it and then it kind of just like bounces back like that so I decided to wrap it up and set it aside for about 10 30 minutes as I do my lumanda so I got my lumanda I got my groundnuts, my tomatoes, and some soda. So what I did was I put half a cup of water in a small pot. I add my lumanda and then I put some soda there. And then I just stirred it for around three minutes until the lumanda was nice and soft. So at this point I add my tomatoes and my groundnuts and a little bit of salt around the teaspoon so I just decided uh, did, I started stirring it and at this point I realized it was too dry so I added a little bit of water so at this point my confidence level was probably around a 3 out of 10 because things weren't looking too good but I continued stirring and after 10 minutes this is how it looked. Tested it, it wasn't quite ready. My groundnuts were still kind of raw. So after 20 minutes, it was finally ready. Voila, it looked good and it tested right. I was happy with these results. So then I decided to work on my pasta now. I get my dough cut it in half because it was too big and I was just planning on making a meal for two. So I dust my work surface with a bit of flour and start rolling out my dough. So I gently flatten it on my work surface and roll it from the top to the bottom twice and then roll it again and then just fold it again um three times around this time i meant to fold it twice but you know happens so at this point you just want to roll it until it is very very flat 
and after that cut it into whatever pasta shape you want yeah so i kind of like was struggling with my work surface it was very very small so i decided to kind of like turn it sideways and continue rolling So at this point I've been rolling for a while around maybe 10 minutes and the piece uh, I'm realizing the door is getting really long so I decided to cut it in half and work with uh, the two pieces separately. So I continue rolling for about 5 more minutes until I can see my hand through the, uh, the door and i'm happy with the results at this point uh it's time to cut it into the pasta shape so i kind of just like fold it and cut it across with a knife so you can cut it into whatever pasta shape you want i saw a few interesting shapes online on youtube but then for me this one was easier i didn't want to do anything very too experimental so I just cut it into these nice long strands so once I'm done cutting I just toss my uh, pasta uh, into a dusting with a dusting of flour just to avoid it from sticking so yeah there you go we're done I was pretty happy with this, with the way my pasta turned out. There you go. I was really, really happy with the results. So to cook the pasta, I uh, put it into a pot of salted boiling water. Though my water wasn't really boiling when I decided to put the pasta in. So I had to cook it uh, for about five minutes, but really with this raw pasta you kind of just need to cook it for around three minutes for it to be ready so at this point after five minutes my pasta was was ready so i uh, took the water out and i decided to mix it in the pot with the lumanda I was really happy with the way it turned out but um the only issue i might say i had is i wish i cooked the lumanda more like before i put the groundnuts and the tomatoes in i wish it, i let it get even softer than it did so at this point i'm just trying to plate it i'm not the best at plating and I don't really <laughs> have that gift of garnishing. I struggled with that, but I tried my best. I garnished it with um, roasted tomatoes and onions. there you go i was really really happy with how it turned out i had some doubts along the way but we made it baby <laughs> pretty nice huh It's dope. It's dope. So next time, I think I would like to add some garlic. But it's good. Try this. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.